guys, welcome to Drawing with Autumn. Um, so today we're gonna draw a butterfly. So, um, let's get started. Um, first, let's first. Um, I would recommend your materials like being. Um, like I have my materials right here and right here and right here. So, um, so since we're gonna draw a butterfly. We should, um, if you're drawing a big one like me, um, I'm going to turn my paper this way so we get more room. Let's get started. So I recommend using a pencil because pencils are um, easy to erase than a marker or whatever you're using. Um, so I'm going to get star, or if you're having trouble, um, like copying me or anything, um, you can look up a picture online of a butterfly, um, I'm just, or another drawing that, um, your siblings or your mom, or your mom or dad has done, like I am. I'm doing one of my old pictures of butterfly, of a butterfly, so let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to start drawing, um, a uh, kind of oval and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not I'm not gonna draw a chart because um it just feels better. And then let's draw a bigger over oval kind of down with like a flat side at the top. And you might want to draw some antennas and leave coloring for the last Part. And then perfect. Now let's draw the wings. The wings might come in over here. Now, if you make mistakes, then that's okay. You could always use a brand new piece of paper. And yep. Yeah. And if you're having trouble leveling it, um, then you can like just draw a line over to the other side and then um and then you can draw a wing and then yep and then yes like that and draw um something like this and yes and now, if you want to add designs in the middle, um, be my guest. Um, there are different kinds of butterflies. So if you're drawing something like, like I am, then you could, or then you can like just look up a picture of a butterfly like this. Um, and you might want to draw designs on the butterfly. Um, and um and so let's overline it with marker i'm gonna use black marker since um since the outline of the marker is black and i like to use these double-sided markers because you get to choose on which end you get so yeah let's get started Be sure to get it like exactly on the line. If you don't, then that's okay. Um, because you can always erase the extra bit of pencil. And then let's draw something right here. Then yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I almost forgot to do something very important. I better get my eraser and erase the line that I drew. So there's not a line in the middle of the butterfly's head. That would look weird, right? Unless you want your butterfly to look weird. That's okay, if you want it to look weird. But yeah, so let's get back to the black marker. And now we're gonna, Outline the wings. And 
it's okay if you make mistakes. You can always start a new one. And voila, there's one ink underlined. Now we just have to do the other one. And I'm very sorry if my hand gets in the way of you copying it. I'm doing my best. And voila, there's the other wing done. So, so here's my butterfly. Mm. Oh, and you also might want to like sign your initials at the edge of the paper so this doesn't get lost and if it goes on display then um you can you can um know it's yours or people can and i'm gonna overline that with markers Okay, thank you for watching Drawing with Autumn. Bye!